Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is build a frame out of this wire here, whatever this wire is made of. I have no idea where I got this. Uh, I think I just found it somewhere in my house. I figured, hey, can I have this? And I, uh, I took it. And what we're going to do is build a frame of Krieg, as you see here. Now, it's a little bit off. Uh, the feet and the hands and whatnot, but for the most part, we just want the legs and the arms even, which now they are. Now, the problem I did, in, and what we're going to do now is grab some aluminium foil and wrap it around to build it. All right, so for the most part, we now have the foil on. It doesn't have to be perfect, so you see, like some bits like here are peeling off. But overall, we have the foil on, and now, as you see, we can start to really pose Krieg in the way we want to do it. So. Well, I might not need to, so now it's going to be putting the clay on. Okay, so now here I've made this skin colored clay with a mix of mostly white, a bit of brown, pink, and yellow. Um, if it goes too dark, just keep adding white and maybe a bit of yellow because it goes a bit brown. Um, but just keep going at it. Um, this stuff is relatively hard, so pretty much just getting your hands and warming up whatever way you see fit. Um, you know, rubbing it like this, sitting on it honestly helps if you just want to put it in your hand and just sit on your hand or something. But I'm just going to get, this does get on your hands by the way a little bit, but I'm just going to make a whole bunch more for his body because I think it's still a little too dark, maybe a bit more lighter for Krieg. But I'm just going to add a bit more white because um, I have a couple more little packets here and we're going to make enough for his body. It is raining now, but as you see, we are slowly but surely uh, putting on the clay here. I mix together a bunch of skin color uh, with the brown, yellow, pink, and white. And little did I know, I already had skin color. So, cream, peach, whatever. So yeah, we're slowly, you know, laying it on. See, so here's his chest bent over. You can see it's going over. We have to put a lot more on the back, obviously, um, and smooth it out, which we'll get to right now. That's not important. Just getting it. Uh, this isn't going to be exact. Like I said, it's going to be bigger. It might be a bit more cartoony. Uh, the thing is, I thought I made enough here, and there's a possibility I didn't because he has big, he has bulk, bulky shoulders, some with big hands. But um, yeah, we're going here slowly but surely, and then we can, I guess, put the fine detailing on it. Okay, so here we have, for the most part, the completed body of Krieg, uh, more or less. Um, as you see. Now, I'm not, this is my third build, so it's a bit uh, rough, I guess, but I like how this has turned out. Now, every time I do a skin color or something, no matter how hard I try to keep my hands clean or whatever, these little, if it can focus, see it's a bit dirty in there and there. It always just gets in, like, the skin color parts, which is annoying. But for Krieg, I suppose it's fine. I mean, he's Krieg. Um, so as you see here, I probably need to do more to the back still. The back isn't completely done because <laughs> that doesn't look right. Um, but for the front, it's more or less done. It could be smoothed down a bit more, which I might end up doing. But the arm, you see here, is good. Need to do his hand. This arm is mostly covered, so I don't need to do all down here. I do need to do this hand, though. Although I need to make a bit more uh, clay for that. Um, and then I'll be doing the rest, and we'll do the head last. So, yeah. So I've encountered a couple problems, the torso is like splitting a bit, and it's being a pain to fix, but he has a bit of back muscles now, and it's being a bitch, so I'll try and fix this if I can, but now we're doing the pants, um, uh, they are made now orange, and pretty much you do, I've done a thin layer around here, and then I'm adding a bit more and molding it to the way Krieg's uh, pants go. Okay, so the pants are finished, and I gotta say, I love how the pants are looking. Torso C has gotten really dirty, which is annoying, but um, for the most part, it's Krieg. He's, you know, been in a lot of battles and stuff. So I've done a bit of back detail, and the more I do to this body, the more it wants to break apart, so I'm a bit scared to do any more. But the pants are just looking, like, great. Now we're going to do the boots. You see, I've started. I have some dark gray here, just wrapped it around, and now I'm going to do the rest of the boots, light gray, and then I'm going to do the little bits that just hang over the edge here and then it's more or less fine detailing and I figured I'd do the hands at last so I'm not constantly bending them so yeah all right so the boots are somewhat done maybe a bit more to be updated to it but as you see they are more or less there they even have some detail on the bottom that could be better done but I'm lazy um so now we're going to be adding these little 
furry white bit to go down his legs as you see here I've already done one now I'm doing this is I'm just getting a roll so I have the white here just rolling it out into a little cylindrical finger wrapping it around and then detailing it so that's what I'm doing now so as you see here we've added some brown the bone needs to be fixed a little bit but we've added some brown strapping around him and uh, this left boot is done as you see has all the details around it and that needs to be fixed a little bit there but now it's time to do the right boot so you see I've already put the first white little bit on time to do the other one that goes here and do the other detail and that's more or less just finishing the arms and doing a little bitty detail so we're going to get to it as you see the feet are now done and these brown straps have been added so it's more or less uh, now I'm going to do the arms now I wanted the hands last because the fingers bend which is very annoying um but his left arm has white uh, a white sheet or something wrapped around it like a bandage left arm has some other stuff wrapped around it like the big armor piece as well as down here on his leg he has some armor pieces as well and so I'm going to be adding those accessories before finally we have to do is the head and finish off the hands okay so what I'm doing for his right arm as you see it is bandaged on the um well his right arm is bandaged so with white uh with white clay I'm just making these little strips and I'm actually more or less bandaging his arms as it appears as it is in the game. So as you see what I'm doing here, I've basically molded out a little bit for it to go. And it's just going to slowly wrap around until the whole arm is wrapped. So as you see, his right arm is done and I think this looks awesome. I think it came out really well. The whole thing is bandaged as it shows up in the game. And his elbow pad is on as well. God, his white bits on there. I'll get rid of that off camera so I don't mess it up. Now, his uh, left arm is actually armored and it's a bit uh different of a it's a bit weird because it also connects up to the straps he has over his torso um so that's what i'm going to be doing now of course no hand yet because i don't want to mess around with the fingers and then once this bit's done um i'll add the head i'll do the head and that'll be putting on all the little gadgets after that and um, it'll be close to done so yeah time for the left arm as you see this armor piece has been put on it has a bit more detail to do it has some like screws or something that go on it which i'm gonna cut out here it's not focusing but i'm just gonna cut out some screws and put it on and yeah um unfortunately i think i made this hand too big because if you remember the wire frame it goes around the whole thing whereas this hand it's really small and this is just all foil so i think the hand's gonna be a little bit big it doesn't matter it's Krieg and he's a slag and do psycho anyway but yeah so this just needs a couple more studs and whatnot and from there I guess I'll be doing the armor down here the knee pad and the shin guard okay I've done the armor pieces and man this looks awesome I can't believe I almost I almost didn't continue doing this because I just hated the torso but um we have done the armor piece as you see here and it just looks awesome. They don't, they don't look very good on the camera now. But you see all these little rivets have been put in. These, or whatever you want to call them. These little uh, latches are also there. As well as these things. I don't know what the words are. You know, all around it. On his elbow pad as well. I'm going to be doing these little scratch marks all over it. You see the screw details on that. Even all the way down to the um, shin and knee pad. They're more or less just both shin. Um, so now I'm going to be doing the belt and after the belt it's time for the head um, there won't be any guns or grenades or anything but his class mod will be on there because he's going to have the buzzsaw so it's time to do that I'm going to call it a night and work on it tomorrow so I've done the belt and a couple of accessories um, they're just off to the side because I'm going to have to um, glue them on but I forgot with it being out of focus but he has some uh, straps or whatever around him so that's what I'm going to do now just with the uh, brown clay here make some uh, straps to go around him and some wire to wrap around his body and then it'll be finally be time to do the head this took a lot longer than I thought it would but I have now done his little uh, harness thing that he has as well as this little pipe thing I got uh, the wire and just wrapped it in this and it was a bitch. I didn't cut it long enough. Oh no, it's starting to split again. And um, up here looks a bit off, but I don't know how to fix it without. It was a pain to put on, so I'm just gonna skip that and do the head 
and try and fix the back and then it'll be close to done. We'll have the buzz axe and the hands. So here is the base of the head. It is like a perfect size. It is big but not too big overall. Um, as you see here, it's going to go on like that because I want it to be bigger. Um, so how I'm going to do this is it is a ball. I'm going to wrap the back of it in the skin color and then put a mask over it as you do. Put the little accessories and then this will be close to done finally. So here's the head. Here's the head so far. Sorry, I'm a bit quiet. It's late. Um, he has a squid nose. I never realized it's a bit covered up. But here it is, as you see, with a couple of things stuck to it. Let me get those off. But uh, yeah, I just covered the foil in skin color, put in cream, put white over it, put orange in a vault symbol. I dug out a spot for the eye, which I'm gonna just paint that on or whatever. And a squid nose, so now it's more or less detailing the mask. We have the base mask on, uh, it's adding his little pipe thing and the straps and the brown and all that. And then this head will be done. It is the finished head and it looks awesome, especially considering I couldn't even make mine. And we are very close to done. As you see, it has all its little details. It is a little, it is like perfect size for what I wanted it to be. And now it is making the hands and the buzz axe and we're done. So the buzz axe is done. A little bit rushed, but I want to get this uh, finished and I still need to do some wood marks. But now we have the skin color for his fingers. We have the fingers left and it is done. So I just need to cut these up and attach them and it is done and it's time to cook it. So everything is now glued together. It is done. I just need to go through with the little black, uh, the black marks, you know, the, the uh, cell shading, and it is done, and I love how this looks. The head is like the perfect size, the buzz axe looks awesome on there in my opinion, could have been better, but, uh, and uh, it doesn't stand up by itself, the back foot isn't uh, balanced, so I need to add something down there just for it to settle, and so the head's super glued on, it's not super durable, it does stay on as you see here, it's, it is all one piece, but uh, I will need to fix it a bit. So now I just need to add some black details with some fine liner and it is done. Here it is. It is now finished. The creek has been cell shaded and my god, it looks awesome. I'm so happy with it. This is only my second proper piece. I have the test Pikachu and uh, this Mai here, which we'll forget about that. Uh, sorry if I'm a bit quiet. It is 3 a.m. Um, I just, I just love how this turned out. It looks awesome. See all these little, all these little details here. I should move closer to the microphone. Um, got the back as well. Like, I love the arms. The arms especially just look awesome. The buzz axe. Um, sorry for the video being 14 minutes. Um, I didn't realize they would take that long. Um, next time I do one of these, whenever I do, I will try and cut it down. Um, he also still can't stand by himself. The back foot needs a bit of support. Um, but yeah, so. This was a bit long, I didn't want it to be 14 minutes, unless I can cut it down, but I don't know how to at the moment, but uh, let me go, uh, guys, sorry, I'm flustered, let me know what you think of it, because I think it looks awesome, uh, if you want to see a bit more clay stuff, um, and yeah, just let me know what you think of it, um, thanks for watching, see you in the next one.